Hey guys, today I'm going to tie this parachute uh, kitties. The name or the this pattern is Bloom Kitties because it's coming from a guy Dave Bloom from the Montana's Missouri River. Uh, actually, a guide there. Uh, however, probably he he didn't use uh, this material for the tip. And it's the aero driving from Tiemco, which is some kind of uh, hollow fiber, and it's really buoyancy. Uh, and even with the combination of deer hair or algae hair, it's it's really good high high for buoyancy fly. I like to use this. This is size twelve. Mm. You can go for smaller, you can go for 14. I will not personally go for 16 because it's too small for me to tie in these parachutes, but if you can, you can. Good for you. Uh, so, let's go. I'm going to use hook, as I said, 12. It's a Timco uh, 100. SPBL, the BR is barbless, of course, and SP is a special tip point. And you can see this, you have a special triangulated edges point, and I found it really great. And it's really sharp, also, and it stays sharp. So I like these hooks. Well, thread is. Uh, in MA55, some brown, you can go for some even gold or whatever. So, time to thread and uh, get a healthy clump of pheasant tail fibers. It can be like 10, 12 of these, choose some long. Tying him there uh, by the tip. Like this. Now, roll the pheasant tail uh, fibers in your fingers to go them into some kind of cord. Don't roll them too much. And just Start to wrap this cord, and you can do some additional roll as needed. Okay, this is probably enough for me. So, no. Secure this. Sorry, I have to tie my vice. Okay, trim this. Now, don't go too long. We need to add uh, the wing and the wall parachute. So, I'm going just like half and now you can go for deer or elk or this is raw deer deer and i'm going for this i'm not sure what it is maybe it's elk uh, why it's a nice color uh, so take some clump of this you can use tucker to to prepare the same length tape. I'm not using this really, I don't really like it. Just remove the, the longest fibers here. And for me it has more natural look. Just 
this move. And I'm going a bit longer than the hook shank. Now, it's too much. Oh, oh just a bit. It's a bit longer than the hook shank. And make a like two loose wraps and then tighten them. Keep it on the on the top, the wall clamp. And I'm used to going the thread under the wing. It can rise a wing a bit. Like this. And trim this rest and cover this don't go too much with the thread there because we need a space uh, now I'm going to use this bright pink it's uh, uh, you can see it's, it's called fluores, fluorescent pink. Again, okay, I sometimes I'm going for yellow with this one or some other color. This, this is the gray. However, uh, you can buy this in a. This one is called, I think, micro, and it's thinner than the original one. And I'm using here the original one. So, uh, cut just a few centimeters for a wink. And tie it in the middle. I'm going just like one, two, three tape wraps. Okay, so go right. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forget to put a straw. If you saw this in my previous videos, as a straw, cut it in the just a piece of straw, and I will hold my wing down. Here, her wing. So once again, tie in the ring. It's lifelike. Just one, two, three. To try really tie this. Now we go. Made the thread wraps round, but I'm doing here just like one, two, or so, just to secure this. And I'm going to add the rooster heckle. I like to use two colors some light and the brown. So tie them in. So we can wrap them together with uh, the wing. Enjoy this. Um, okay. I'm going to wrap them together with the arrow driving. Or if you don't have this, you can go for the the Antron yarn. Now this is a bit tricky part. Okay. I'm 
where I'm going to tighten this. So we know we will move. Let's move it now a bit. So, okay. Maybe just a few more going up. Varnish over fix move. Yes, I think it will be all right. So just tighten this really hard. Now I'm going to tap, going to use the Hare mask and just a really tiny, I mean, Okay, I think it's alright. Um, I don't know, the camera stopped now, so I don't know what you saw. <laughs> just go with the brown and I'm just going for the other one. Try to go from up down, it's really a little a short way, but and secure it here. Okay. I'm going to put a straw on the front part or on the wall sink and I will just put a little dab in here again very tiny That's it. Uh, add a varnish. Just a bit. Now. Here we go. It looks like it's all in its place, fortunately. It's not really easy fly, and as you go in smaller with this fly, it's going to be even harder. Now, just trim the wing. I have like this short. Depends even on color. You can go longer, but going like it is 
it's not. It's a bit too much. So, barber shop. Okay, I think we're done here. Uh, room carries just uh, here, cut here. Okay. Gray for trouts and even for bigger gray links. Good thing of parachute is that it's nicely lying on the water surface uh, because this echo is not going down and the body is just on the water. It looks natural and nicely floating, really. So, good luck with these flies, and see you next time. Here, next time, bye.